And now toying the idea with this first pick, Ash coming out, and they will lock it in. So looking to challenge the bot lane of T1 in the early 2v2. And <laughs> <laughs> very swiftly matched. Um, the thing is with the clusters, you can actually play a more poke-oriented lane if you max Q, go the early serrated dirt. Jin Ashway. Yeah. Um, so will they survive? A good question. As Talia left available until the end, and Faker is going to snatch that one up. As these Ari also got banned away, we saw what Chovy was able to do on that pick. I don't think you want to give this one to Faker either on this patch. So again, just more and more stuff to ban away. Not people starting like daily Darins. Yeah. Um. So nice amount of damage onto Andil, but also a ton into Guma. Full bot lane is starting like Darren's blade. Mm -hmm. um, Did you notice that, notice that by the way? Carry moved away from the lane to give level two first, and that's gonna be first blood to Carry. Speaking of which, as the uh, is he the eighty carry or is he the support? Well, I don't know anymore. As Carry picks up a double kill on Kalista, got the two yeah. kills. I think Same. the theory might be in because only one of them could get level two. You know, if they yeah. both shared XP, then they would both be level one. So opting for the immediate power and carrier just managing uh, to get rewarded here. And this is one of the problems with Jin. Your attack speed is so slow, it takes a while to get those orders out. Get the level six for Faker, once you get the level six for Owner, I think that's really where you can look to capitalize more on this bot lane. Some heavy trades got an Andal. Yeah, he's getting pretty low. As we do have Cuz hanging around down on the bottom side here. Owner's not able to hit level six. Yep. See a big trade up in the top side, actually. Counter-Strike coming in, but he does get pulled back by the chain. So Dudu, there's a ward there. They don't exactly know where Sejuani is, but he's still going to pull the trigger here as Flash does get utilized by Andil, but now under the turret and no Sejuani in sight. Andil in a lot of trouble just being poked out of this one. The wave is coming in as Arrow is utilized, but it's just not going to do too much here as Guma gets Fates called after the double, and it is just an absolute massacre in the bottom lane. They're just we're going to leave Callista, we're going to leave Ash, we're going to leave Varus, and we're going to play your game, and that's very dangerous. So speaking of which, Faker in a bit of a dangerous spot, but he still does have the flash, and just casually sidesteps, but he's still in a lot of danger, as he will not get rooted, but he will get killed instead, which is a better route, as now Guangdong breaks, should be able to take this Drake, although a lot of poke damage is coming in, and T1 may be trying to fight this one 3v4. Yeah, they don't have many ults, but they are coming up soon. I think one of should be able to get this and get out. they got to be quick, though. Yeah, they do have the smite as there it does go. Oh, look at the damage coming out right now from Guma and Karia. It's pretty low on the health bars. Our Quantum Freaks, and they might be able to run this one out. Ult is he's looking. Able to even stun Cuz which allowed Cuz to flash over him, and it just turned into a total disaster. As meanwhile, Andal? Uh, yeah, they're, they're both here, and Andal is just going to go forward. They're trying to burst down Zeus, who does flash away, but he's just dead instead, as here comes Karia, <laughs> and he's going to assassinate on the Kalista. And Andal is not long for this world either. That is a double kill once again onto Karia, but a shutdown potentially to go the way of Quantum Freak, says that will be taken here by Cuz. Flash forward with the ult here from Bulldog. Might just be enough burst damage as uh, the Q cooldown. He's trying to get it out, but now he's in trouble himself as Owner will come in and just gives the kill over to Guma. I'm gonna add this. There's no. Oh, oh boy. Backing on a ward here. Tower. Um, late dash here from Zeus. He's in a lot of trouble and under the turret. It does not matter because it's just so tanky, although they're gonna wait to reset this one. And there you go. Dude is just gonna proc that ult and. Move around the map and keep bullying. All right, trying to dive onto Bulldog here, and he is in a lot of trouble. Faker does get ulted, but they do have the burst damage coming. Here does come Dudu and Cuz trying to turn this one around. Nice flash on it, but a little bit disjointed. They do get this stun onto Karia, who is slowed down and stunned once again, but now Fate's Call comes in, trying to turn this one around, but Andil and the Jin ults nearly doing enough to take out another kill onto Karia. As D1 still on the run here, the stun will land, as will the Deadly Flourish, and Guma going to give over another Another streak here oh, as Karia. <laughs> Where are you going, my guy? Uh, yeah, the blast cone 
both hit a bit late, and that's going to be another shutdown given on over. This is kind of posturing for a flank here. They have to be really careful. He's actually hex skating. Well, yeah, that's very obvious. And can they get away from this is really the question. Nocturnal comes in, and it's stolen away as Owner is going to go forward. Doesn't really have any other way to go as he is absolutely dead. Octil also going to be caught off here as Bo in a lot of trouble. Can't get away from the Aatrox. That's a two for one, plus the dragon stolen away here by T1. As AOC wants a bit more, we still have Weaver's Wall coming up. A very nice assault over the wall here from Cuz, but it might not matter. But uh, take a look at the top in jungle here of Quantum Freaks. I mean, Dudu's insanely fed. We got Cuz basically unkillable. That's going to be a flash forced away. From yeah, it's not that big of a deal if you just throw them out and you end up missing. But notice how T1, oh, they're looking. Yeah, they're looking for a play here. Andal now in a lot of trouble. And that's what happens sometimes if you posture aggressively without flash. Oh or you're going to have to deal with me. As, yep, there he goes. We also got the wall coming in here as the chains are going to be flashes. Baker's just in there. I mean, they've already done so much poke damage as now. Zeus gets over the wall with the blast cone, and that's a nice flash forward with the knockup as, yep, there you go. The monkey in the audience also really enjoying this one as T1 basically just cleaned them up for free. They're in the pit, and they just got corralled so quickly before they could react at all. Yeah, honestly, the combo, the wall coming in, Faker going so close, right on the back line, throwing the combo and then flashing out, and Zeus has time just to get in. Yeah, I mean, this is kind of what I was talking about as well with this composition oh, yeah. of Quantum Freaks. Now we got a big rotation coming on in, a lot of pings here from the side of Quantum Freaks. His owner is going to be spotted. Fear should come in. Zeus is pretty far away from this, though. Still trying to force the fight as the Chains of Corruption will come down. And yes, Owner gonna get flashed on. Takes a ton of damage, but they just can't kill him. Finally, we do have Bo to take him down as now Zeus is pretty unkillable himself on this Lethality Aatrox. And yeah, they're gonna put a lot into him, but it's not quite enough. As now Karia, he's just running at the enemy team as he might fall here as finally Bulldog takes him out, but after so much was utilized, and they do get aced. The gold. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure Kerry has more gold than Bolt at this point. That wouldn't surprise me at all, as they are trying to kill Faker here, who is kind of just hanging out by himself in mid lane, just doing Faker things, I suppose, but he is going to pay for that one as chains do come down. They're trying to set up this fight, as Cuz, he's very tanky, and he will survive. Lots of poke just come down, and they're just going to Fate's Call out of this one play. It's safe for now. Yeah, once again, I mean, I feel like Zeus is getting so much value of these Hex Gates. Andal's half HP and Aatrox is there. Oh, no. Wait. <laughs> Wait, no! Oh, God! The, the horror! As now they're going to dive into this back line, we do have Bull in a lot of trouble as well, as he can't get away from the fear. He doesn't have any summoners. I mean, let's be real. They're down 13,000 gold, it's and gone. T1 are just playing with their food. And yeah, I, I don't think Cuz is going to die. The owner's going to try to up his damage number as much as possible. Yeah, he wants that one kill. He hasn't got one yet this game. <laughs> <laughs> he and Andal on the same amount of kills, actually. So, yeah. Yeah. Trying his best. Equal impact. No, not quite. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, the flanks from Zayas have just been... Oh! All right, flash forward. Faker trying to create some more action as they normally do. Unfortunately, Andal is going to hit his ninth death in this one. Another seismic shove comes out, and the game will end. And there you go. That was a game of League of Legends. ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっ
잠깐만 나한 입만 아 일단 엘바지 나 기도 1초 자 잠깐만 제이 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 